Morning traders, I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here in Chicago on August 30th. And I'm going to talk to you here today, obviously, about the crude oil market. And, you know, I want to talk to you here, if you haven't taken a look at the last couple of e-views here in the energy market, I suggest you kind of go back and, and, and read those here. Uh, and I just want to kind of go into just a little bit of detail here, what we've really seen. You know, obviously, we've seen prices here that were kind of on that, on that downswing here. We saw uh, oil really kind of selling off. We got down around the bottom of the $40 range here, and we saw a nice lift off here and got up to about $50. And since that time, we've kind of eased back. Currently, we've got October... October uh, crude oil trading around 46.44 a barrel. So we've eased off that $50 mark here. We're down about 53 cents right now a uh, barrel. And, you know, again, we can kind of talk about some of the fundamentals of the market, and a lot of them truly still remain the same. We've got adequate supplies. Uh, we're going to have an EIA report that's going to be coming out here tomorrow. Uh, take a look at the stockpiles. I mean, we are running well above uh, five year, 10 year averages. We've got a lot of oil out there. And you know, we've, we've looked at, you know, the, the, on a week-to-week -week basis here. We've seen a couple draws. We've seen a couple builds. I think we might see a small build here tomorrow. That's kind of what I think the consensus is right now. But, you know, watch that report for possible short-term market uh, direction. But, you know, we look at kind of the way the market's been responding here. You know, we had uh, some news that came out here last week about OPEC and, and that they might be doing something to potentially freeze or even cut production. And that's really kind of fizzled out. We're not hearing a, a, a lot about that here. So, you know, really question, you know, with as much oil as we're producing here in the U.S., although OPEC still plays a significant role in, in the world in, in markets. But, you know, you really got to ask yourself here. I don't really think it's like what it used to be. I've been doing this for 20 years. And I tell you here, you know, you go back 15, 20 years ago here, and when OPEC said something, the world listened. And now uh, it, you just don't see that as much here. And talking about, you know, our oil production here, look at rig counts over over the last several weeks, Baker Hughes rig counts here, we've seen that number increasing. So we're seeing more production, uh, some of that production that was idled when prices got down around that $30 area. Uh, we're seeing more of that production uh, coming back online. So I think overall when you look at it, you know, where prices are potentially heading, in my mind right now, what I think we're going to see happen with oil is that oil prices are probably going to continue to slide lower. We might get a little weather bounce as we know there's a hurricane forming in the Gulf of Mexico, so we could see a little bit of an uptick in the market. I believe that'll be an opportunity though to look at uh, the potential short side, possibly selling some of these weather rallies. Ultimately, you know, uh, my thoughts are that we could see, you know, oil prices sink back down possibly around that $40 range. So I've got some ideas and strategies for you. I think you have to be very cautious how you play this market uh, because, as I mentioned, with the weather related, we could see some possible rallies in that market. So if you're on the short side here, you've got to be very careful. But I do have some ideas and some strategies on how you can position yourself, potentially take advantage of a small trend in the market. Be sure to give me a call or shoot me an email and we can get into more detail.